Well, hello, Cow Soy Guy fans. I'm Kevin Ripa, and this is My Sans 3 Minutes Max. Uh, today, we're going to talk about understanding computer data, and this is going to extend through the next few episodes. Uh, it's one thing to look at a screen and read a Word document or, or look at a picture or, or read a PDF uh, video, whatever the case may be. But what caused it to look like that? What's happening on the computer that makes those words show up on the screen? And I'm specifically talking about things like bits and bytes and hexadecimal. We're going to talk in the next few episodes about these concepts and how they all work together to, to show data uh, the way that we see the data. Uh, the reason uh, we use these concepts, bits, bytes, nibbles, uh, has to do with the efficiency of data. So we're going to look at how they work. It's, there are many times in forensics where we'll look at a piece of data, whether it be in a, in a forensics tool or in a, in a hex editor or something like that, or even in a corrupt file for that matter that, that won't open in any other way, and we're going to see potentially a bunch of hexadecimal. And we may not know what that is. It's very important to understand hexadecimal, at least in some basic concepts, uh, to identify things like file headers. If you're looking at a, at a piece of raw data in hexadecimal, how do you know if something is a picture or a PDF or a, a Word document or something like that? These file signatures are typically in uh, hexadecimal. So we need to know what that looks like and what it is and how it's constructed. But it's constructed from bytes. So how did the bytes get made? What is a byte? What does it mean to me? Uh, what's a bit? What's a nibble? Oh, we'll even take this a little bit farther. We're going to even go so far as to talk very briefly, 10,000 foot view stuff, on something like Endianness. And then we're going to talk about an ASCII table. And, and uh, that will round out our uh, continuing talk on how computer data works. So if you have wondered, well, what's a bit? Where does it come from? That's easy. How about a byte? What about how we get bits to a byte and what does a byte mean? Well, we're going to cover that in the next few episodes. Uh, we're going to start with a bit and we're going to work our way up. So in the meantime and in between time, that's it. Another episode of 3 Minutes Max.